Since for over 14 years. Welcome back, everyone. About one in 700 children are born with a facial deformity called cleft palate or cleft lip. And in some countries, they even become outcasts in society. NBC Miami's Brent Solomon tonight introduces us to some South Florida school kids who are working to turn those frowns into smiles. Thank you. Thank you. They're exchanging money for bracelets. Most importantly, a lot of math. Really? How? Yeah. What do you mean by a lot of math? Uh, calculating how many bracelets we have to do. How much profit. Bright orange and blue bracelets and even t-shirts that read, I love smiles. It's all becoming a fashion trend at Somerset Charter School in Pembroke Pines. And they're raising this money for children born with cleft lip and cleft palate. They can't go to school, they can't hold a job. It's very severe. It's looked upon as something to be disgusted about, which is a shame because they have no way of helping themselves. So these students are getting creative, collecting money that will head overseas to help children born with the deformity. I was scared because I didn't know what was going on. Student Danielle Pierre can relate. She was born with the condition and was able to get surgery to fix it when she was four years old. It makes her feel good to help others. And this whole project really was about more than just raising money. All of these middle and high school students also got a lesson out of it. There are many people born like that and they can't eat or drink anything and they can eventually die because of it because of starvation and thirst. It's why they're putting their wrists together to fight back. What did it take to actually do this? A lot of brainstorming, a lot of uh, work, work uh, effort. Brent Solomon, NBC Miramar. Very nicely done there, Brent. Thank you. The two-month campaign just wrapped up this week, and the students raised $1,500. By the way, that's enough to help six children have the surgery to fix the condition. Well done, kids over there.